hydrogen. It's the ultimate sustainable eco-friendly energy source of the future. So, how will hydrogen energy transform our world? What exactly is hydrogen and how is it driving the development of fuel cell electric vehicles? Our quest to find out begins now. 13.7 billion years ago, the universe exploded in a big bang, creating a substance called hydrogen. Hydrogen is abundant, accounting for 90% of all molecules in the universe. So, how was hydrogen discovered? In the late 15th century, European chemists discovered the existence of hydrogen while seeking the origin of water on Earth. Then in the late 18th century, a British scientist named Henry Cavendish conducted an experiment with flammable air, proving that the combustion of hydrogen and oxygen leaves only water. At about the same time, Antoine Lavoisier, who is considered the father of modern chemistry, was analyzing the components of water and identified both hydrogen and oxygen. He gave hydrogen its name, which up until then had been called flammable air. Hydrogen turned out to have limitless possibilities. Being abundant, extremely light, and highly reactive, many scientists delved into the question of how to use hydrogen as an energy source. French inventors used lightweight hydrogen to fly the world's first hot air balloon in the 18th century. Some people who saw the balloon floating in midair were terrified by it and attacked it. However, due to technological limitations, common use of hydrogen as fuel didn't happen for many years. So what would it take to start using hydrogen as energy? In 1839, William Robert Grove of Great Britain's Royal Institution had an idea of reversing electrolysis of water to create electricity. Based on this hypothesis, he developed the first fuel cell, producing safe and clean electric energy. Later in 1939, Francis Bacon of Cambridge University installed this fuel cell into a forklift and successfully conducted a test drive. The first person to invent a fuel cell electric vehicle was Austrian scientist Karl Kordesch in the 1950s. After World War II, he came to America and remodeled a used car into a fuel cell electric vehicle. In the 1960s, American car maker General Motors hired 200 researchers and designed a van based on Kordesh's fuel cell. However, this vehicle could only seat two people in the front, while the back seat was packed with a fuel cell system. Around the same time, active research into hydrogen vehicles was also carried out in Europe. German automaker Daimler-Benz ambitiously released a fuel cell electric bus. They developed a bus because the fuel cell system was simply too big for a sedan. Then in 1999, Benz released a compact car installed with small fuel cells, and Jorgen Schrempp then CEO of Daimler-Benz, said with confidence. Today, the race to develop the fuel cell car is over. Now, we begin the race to lower the cost. Japan also plays a major part in the history of fuel cell electric vehicle development. Although they were late in the race compared to American and European car makers, Toyota presented several fuel cell electric vehicles and was second in the world to release a mass-produced fuel cell electric car. Now, Japan is following a hydrogen economy roadmap to develop not only passenger cars, but also trucks, buses, and forklifts 
that use hydrogen as fuel. So what about South Korea? Hyundai Motor Company began making fuel cell electric vehicles about 20 years ago. In 2005, seven years into development, Hyundai succeeded in creating Korean-made fuel cells. In 2013, Hyundai took the industry by surprise by launching the world's first mass-produced fuel cell electric car and exported it to 18 countries, including several in Europe. In 2018, Hyundai released hydrogen-powered Nexo, which can travel 609 kilometers on a five-minute charge, the longest range in the world. Also, it surpassed records set by Japan's fuel cell electric vehicles in terms of maximum speed, acceleration, and motor torque, further proving Hyundai's world-class capability in hydrogen technology. In 2018, Benz released GLC F-Cell, a fuel cell-operated plug-in hybrid. In September 2019, BMW launched Hydrogen Next. In 2020, Toyota plans to release a new fuel cell electric vehicle. Hyundai is also equipped to manufacture over 10,000 fuel cell electric vehicles in 2020. The entire world is jumping into the competition for fuel cell electric car domination. South Korea has become a leader in eco-friendly vehicles and is positioned to lead the world market. By 2030, all car models in South Korea will be eco-friendly using the world's top technologies. In summary, Hydrogen was discovered and developed through the hard work of countless scientists. And now it is being used as a sustainable energy source for cars and other vehicles essential to daily life.